I just got hit. There it goes. There it goes, man. That's a fish. That's a fish on. Let's reel this one in. Guys, I wasn't sure this video was getting started today. But this is going to be a good fish right here, I think. I've been on the water here for, it's 4.30, a little over two hours. And uh, just set up in front of a creek here. Nothing going on. I mean, just dead out here. Just dead. No dink taps, no nothing happening. And now I am finally getting rewarded with a fish right here. I even got a courteous wakeboarder up here. He's idling down through here beside me versus going by full bore and putting off a huge wake. We'll see when we get this fish up here, see what he looks like. I think he's going to be decent. It's a blue. I feel him rolling. Yeah. Oh, he's a fun sizer. Old fun size blue. I'm happy with that. All right. Let's bring this girl in right here. This is a female fish, and she ought to be subdued because right when I was getting ready to land her, my phone rang, and it was a call I had to take. So this fish has just been hanging out over here at the side of the kayak for about 10 minutes now. But she's been in the water, so no harm, no foul. Fun sizer. Uh, fun size fish. You can tell it's a female blue cat just from the size of the mouth. There's my phone going off again. It never ends. But you can tell just, you know, the size of the mouth. Really small mouth on these female uh, blue cats. So nice fish. Been a long time coming though. Two, over two hours out here. Goodness, my phone's blowing up. I'm telling you, it never ends, y'all. Let's get this girl out of here. I'm going to drop that bait back down. And see if we can get some more. I think I'm gonna just stay here where I'm at and ride it out for another hour or two and just see if some fish get active and move in here. So right here beside me on the right, there's a creek and it actually loops back around there to the left. You can't really see there uh, from where it's at on camera, but then it comes out and it's 20, low 20s foot depth and then drops straight off here. And then uh, I'm setting, Right now, I'm setting 51 feet here, just on the edge of the drop, right as it starts to come up real sharp in here. So I'm hoping to catch fish working up and down this main channel or fish that are coming in and out of this creek. Water temps today have heated up. It's 59 degrees surface temps here where I'm at. We've had some warmer temps lately. The shallows are really heating up, drawing a lot of bait up in there and other fish too. So uh, hoping, hoping to get some fish this bite, setting up in front of these creeks lately has been doing really good for me. Uh, never a bad time to do it, but it's been especially on my last few trips. I've been getting a lot of big fish. So I'm coming out here, hitting another one today, and hopefully it's gonna pay off with some more fish other than just that one. Oh, I think I got a flathead here. I do, I've got a flathead. I felt a thump, like that bait was just getting inhaled. And now I got some, I got some boat wake rocking me here. I'm gonna pick up on him. I was gonna let him just take the rod on his own. I wanted him to just take it down on his own and hook himself, but this boat wake was, was right. Oh man, he's pulling too. He's pulling, that's a flathead. Oh man, he's a digging man. He's a digging buddy. Look at him go, look at him go. Look at the bend in that rod. I just, I mean, he just inhaled that bait, just thumped it, man. You could just see my rod tip just go boom. boom. And I had a little bit of weight there and a damn boat wake and all's well though. We got him hooked. That's the main thing. He's, he's a pulling too, man. I slid on down y'all. I, I was up there at that other Creek and just wasn't doing any good, man. I've been on the water for so long and I just got that one fish. As I said, I'm going to come back down here to, to this Creek as I had set up here a few days ago and got a whopper. So we're during the morning hours, I'm out here in the afternoon now. And I thought, I'm just gonna come down here, fish another hour or so and just see what happens. And then I've been sitting here, it's six o'clock now. So I've been out here a while today for two bites. 
but this one here is going to be worth the worth the wait. Man, here we go. This is what I was hoping to get today. I, I've just been just waiting, man, just biding my time to catch a flat. The other day, I, I was fishing this spot, actually, during the morning hours, and I fought a fish all the way up to the kayak thinking it was a flathead. And it was a blue. It was a big blue. So I may be in that kind of situation here again with this one, but he sure act like a flathead. I better not get too confident with it because I, I probably look pretty stupid in the other day's video. I talked about that being a flathead all the way up till I got it up to the side of the kayak and seen that it wasn't. <laughs> I am wrong occasionally. The girlfriend will tell you I'm wrong all the damn time, but uh, I, it happens occasionally. I actually am wrong. <laughs> Man, he's pulling. These flatheads just pound for pound. They just pull harder than the blues do. I don't specifically target flatheads, but I get a bunch of them on cut bait just fishing for blues. This one here is eight to a uh, skipjack head. Yeah, it's a nice flathead, man. Nice flathead. Nice flathead. Let me get my arm out of the way of the camera. See, yeah, he's hooked good, too. He ain't going nowhere. Look at that, buddy. That's a nice, nice flathead. Heck, yes. Yes. All right, y'all. Let's land this thing. Okay. Come on in, Flatty. Come on in. <laughs> Worth the wait. You know, these these days like this where you just you ain't getting bit that's what you eat right there skipjack head still perfect condition because nothing's messed with it ain't no fish down there chewing it up but days like this where you just can't get anything going it's just a slow bite and then a fish like this comes along <laughs> it's freaking awesome man worth the wait this thing is pale too. Look how pale and yellow he is. He's probably been deep here most of the time. Probably ain't been in the shallows much, but water temp's heating up. He's gonna be up there more frequently soon. Let's see if I can get back here. Nice. Oh, I love it. I've been wanting to hook into a big flathead so much here lately it's been i just ain't got very many on the winter i've got some smaller ones here uh as of late but the big ones have eluded me until now <laughs> all right one last look and we're gonna let him go he's gonna get even bigger all right guys right there he is y'all one final look at him just a beautiful fish Beautiful fish. Uh, he gone. Oh, man. That one there is fist pump worthy, man. <laughs> I'm going to drop that same bait back down. See if we can get some more. That flathead there, man, he just, you know, just came out of nowhere. Uh, I mean, I've sat here, no dink taps, no nothing going on, and then just boom. You know, it just... You put the time in, you keep your baits on good structure. You put your time in and, and you'll eventually get rewarded. Will it be every trip? No, it just don't work like that. But over the course of a season, over the course of a year, you put your time in on places like this. You know, again, I, I, was, I was up here initially in front of that other creek, got that one blue, just nothing going on. Move down here in front of this one and just soaking these baits. And, you know, one fish like that can make your trip. It can make your week. At least it does for me anyway. And my trip's definitely made. This rod's got a little something going on. I felt a little tap. My line looks like it's headed for China back here. I'm just going, yeah, 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 I got him. 
Come on up. Oh, he just let it go. I think he just stole my bait. I was getting so excited to have a... Yeah, he did. He ripped me off. I ain't been ripped off like that since the last time I went to the flea market. Let's get another bait on there. I may be. Yeah, I am. I'm going to get me another one after all, y'all. You talk about a slow bite today. It's been slow. This is my, if I land this fish, be my third fish. I think four total bites. And looks like about five hours now. I'm actually not going to fish much longer. I was just a little bit more optimistic after that flathead. Then I might get some more fish working up through here. But it has been a slow bite this afternoon. The morning bite when I fished this area recently was much better. I don't know if it was just time of day or right place, right time or what. But again, my day's made. Anytime I get a flathead like that one I got there earlier, my day's made regardless. This one here just don't measure up to that big flat. It's the blue. He's he's mad at me. Sometimes they, they bite a, a bait with a hook in it, and then they get mad at me thinking it's my fault. I didn't tell them to bite the hook. I put it down there in their way. He, he's, he's burping, too. He didn't even say excuse me. We got ladies watching this. Not very many. There's probably about four women watching this episode. This fish don't care. He's He ain't got no manners. We about put that... He about put that hook in my thumb too, didn't he? It is going through his bottom lip. I'm trying not to wear it. I may have to bring him in just to get him unhooked. All right, finally got that guy unhooked. That is a bad spot to be hooked when they're going right through that bottom lip. You go to reach down there to grab them, that hook's liable to go through a thumb, and I don't care how happy I was catching that big flathead. If I get a hook through the thumb, it ain't a good day anymore. So I'm gonna get a bait back down there. I'm just gonna fish a little while long. You can probably see there the sun behind me. I'm just gonna fish till a little bit before dark. I'm not gonna, I don't have my uh, light working on here. So I need to be off the water before I get run over on the way back to the ramp. But I am gonna give it a little while longer and just see if another fish or two works up through here. Well, there is a beautiful skyline to end the day truth be told the bite is probably about to really turn on here anytime now but i got to get on out of here so i ain't gonna be able to take advantage of it this time but nevertheless you know i, I got quality today it's quality over quantity some days you go out and you catch a lot of fish some days you get a few fish and they're big the best days are the ones that you, you get a lot of big fish and a lot of bites in general but uh, those days are rare at least for me anyway it's usually one or the other or no fish at all if i'm being quite honest but nevertheless it was a great day for me hope you enjoyed it we'll do it again soon